Hey guys, it's Miss Overmeyer. Today I'm going to talk to those of you who have not finished your From My Perspective assignment. I'm going to shoot the assignment in hopefully under 10 minutes. I hope you put a little more effort into it, but at least if you get it done and try to do a decent job, you will pass the class if you get all three of the common assessments done. So let's work on doing that. Again, I want you to put effort into it, but I'm going to show you how pretty quick and easy you can get a pretty nice project together. Okay, so we're in from my perspective. The idea is um, that you are showing things from an unusual physical perspective, first of all. Okay, so for example, I can look straight down at things, get close up. I can um, look up at things. I'm sure I look really lovely. <laughs> uh, you can look down at things. Okay, or people. You can get super close up. Okay, so I get to the side of things. Okay, um, you can lay down on the ground. Okay, and get a point of view looking straight ahead. You can lay down on the ground and look straight up at things. Okay, so you can also get up high and look across at things. Okay, besides looking down. All right, so that's the physical point of view. So no matter which assign part of the, like which, we, there are two choices, okay? So no matter which choice you choose, you have to do the physical perspective part. Many different physical perspectives, okay? Try to make them dramatic. All right, then the other part is showing what it's like from a certain person's point of view or a character's point of view or a thing's point of view, okay? That person could be you. So for example, you could show like things that you're into, what happens during your day, what kinds of things do you do, what things do you enjoy or like, who, what people do you hang out with. Any of those things <coughs> could be perspective subject matter for you, okay? Now, the other one is that you could do an imaginary point of view. So you could imagine what it might be like for a character, for your dog, for your cat, um, for, you know, um, maybe a superhero or something, you know, something like that. Okay. But today I'm going to imagine what it might be like from a mouse's point of view in a house. Okay. So... Uh, let's get started and I'm going to try to do 10 pictures. I encourage you to do more so that you have many choices, but I'm going to try to do 10 just so you can see how quick and easy you can probably pull a really good project together. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to open this door into my kitchen. Okay, and I am going to get down low and... I'm going to open the door a little bit more so you can see more of the kitchen. Okay, so I'm going to try to make this composition, you know, kind of nice. Um, you know, so that things are arranged nicely. So this could be the first one from a mouse's point of view. They're looking into the kitchen. So that's number one. All right, where is our mouse going to go next? Okay, so I'm going to imagine that they're looking up at this stool, a way to get up. Now I might back off a little bit. I might try and, so that could be two. And then I'll try it a different way. I'm gonna lay down on the ground. Okay, I'm gonna lay down on the ground and I'm gonna try and back up as much as I can and see if I can make it look like the mouse is looking up at things. Okay, so that could be number three. Okay, and I probably wouldn't use both of them because they're too similar. Okay, now I'm going to imagine that the mouse is jumping up here. Okay, 
This is uh, four. I'm going to go up to the apples here. I'm going to kind of pull it up as if the mouse is kind of coming up. I have to watch my shadow though. I don't want my shadow in there. So there, I'm going to try and compose it in a somewhat interesting way. If you wanted to, I don't want to break, I don't want to hurt one of my apples, but I could probably take a little bite out of it, just a tiny one, so that it looked like the mouse was eating something. All right, so that was five, okay? I've set up some cheese over here and some crumbs, okay? Might kind of try and set this up a little bit. So the mouse looks like the mouse is trying to get the cheese. Such a cliche, right? <laughs> Six. Okay. And I might even try a different point of view. That doesn't work as well, I think. Seven. No. Nope. But I'll still call it seven. And then maybe. Oops, I gotta watch that shadow. Maybe something like this, eight, okay. Maybe I would wanna turn the, turn this around, you know, try, try things different ways. Okay, so that could be eight or nine, okay? All right, now I'm going to imagine that the mouse is looking down on something. Okay, so there is, we're gonna call that one nine, Okay, and then I'm going to maybe do one more shot from underneath the leg of a piece of furniture, and that is 10. Okay, now I could keep going. I'm sure I could find more pictures in my house, but for now, I could probably also get five pictures out of that. All right, which is all you need. All right, so good luck and get shooting. Bye.